Josh dropped out, didn't want to be recorded, I guess. Did he drop? Yeah. There he is. Hi. Okay. You can begin. We are not recording yet, I think. Uh, yes, we are. We are. No, no, we are. Oh, yeah, it works now. <laughs> I didn't say it. Right, so let's get started. Uh, we have Quaticon next week. Uh, so <laughs> buy a ticket or three from Mike. <laughs> Uh, we must, of course, share the notes uh, after the meeting is over. Um, yeah, so let's start with the current project state. Uh, we already mentioned this. There are many tests that are failing. Uh, this is the state of the master branch we have cloned inside the USQL organization. We proceeded and disabled some of them. Um, we also have a build issue on macOS Mojave, uh, but we have a fix for that that is causing even more uh, tests to fail. So we, we initially wanted to try and release a first version, which was uh, which had all the tests passing, and this delayed things uh, uh, quite a little, so sorry about that. We we ended up deciding to go with uh, the disabled test because we also noticed that upstream and the experimental branch uh, proceeded and disabled quite some of them. So yeah, um, it would be nice to, to, to fix them, uh, but I guess it is not worth it now. Uh, we, we, of course, accept uh, help in fixing them, but Basically, the state of the code is the same as we pretty much uh, didn't touch anything other than a small pull request uh, to fix uh, a missing or rather a broken header, HTTP header on the TLS enrollment. So we feel like the disabling, disabling the test is not really an issue right now. Um, the stability of the product is the same as the uh, 332 uh, release that has been published on the upstream uh, repository. With this said, we would like to start planning a release date. We were originally aiming for a release each month, uh, starting from the end of this month, maybe. Um, we thought about renaming the uh, rebranding OS query to OSQL, uh, but we would like to, but it is going to cause issues on scripts, on deployments, and so on. For example, there are tables like the OS query underscore flags, or the fact that uh, several Python scripts we have seen in a while are launching OS query directly, and maybe also uh, deployment scripts uh, based on Chef or Puppet that rely on the OS query executable name, and of course, schedule queries, and so on. So at least for the time being, we would like to just gather some feedback on it. We will probably uh, open an issue about this and see how we could uh, proceed forward with this. We will, of course, start with an assigned packages first, because it is the easiest uh, way to go. Uh, we will, of course, up upload them on the uh, GitHub release page. We already have this on the experimental uh, branch. Uh, we just have to port this uh, elsewhere on the master uh, release. I think we will go with the uh, usual packages, so uh, deb, rpm, and, and so on. Um, we have prepared a milestone on the GitHub repository. I can show the link here, but I will also share it on the channel later. Let me see. So yeah, it would be nice to have some feedback on it. Um, 
we are planning to get the release out as fast as possible. Uh, there are a couple of uh, issue, issues there uh, already, uh, high priority ones, which we would like to get some input on. And then I guess we can start talking about pull requests. Uh, we already have several of them, uh, but uh, even though we have made some light code review on them, we didn't proceed because, uh, as I said earlier, we wanted to try and get all the tests working. Of course, it is not possible. So we will now officially uh, proceed and start reviewing them. Um, of course, don't, don't expect too much right now since we have QueryCon. Of course, it will be coming. So yeah. We have, uh, yeah, another thing I wanted to mention, we have started migrating things uh, of the um, upstream S3 bucket. Uh, this is for uh, chocolate packages and homebrew ones that are used and referenced by these scripts in the provisioning folder. We only started migrating what we are changing, so it is just boost for now but we would like to migrate everything uh, because of course we don't know what is going to happen to the um, to those packages and we don't want to lose them because it would break our producible builds we have also seen uh, the cve uh, that uh, was posted uh, a week ago which is more related to windows we are looking into it uh, the epstein patch only looks at the experimental version, the 3.4.0, which only works for Windows. So we would have to backport it. Uh, it isn't too much uh, of an issue to backport it because it's just um, a change in how the packages are built. Or rather, it is actually where um, the executables are installed. An additional fix would be to uh, I'm not sure if uh, people are familiar. I will briefly uh, mention how it works. This is a privilege escalation uh, made possible due to a bad ACL setup on the folders. And we could add an additional fix on it. Uh, so not just moving where it is installed, but also making sure that the files used which in this case uh, was the extensions.load file, is not writable by everyone, uh, which right now is the, it is, and it is inside the C program data uh, OS query folder. So we will uh, update the issue and maybe uh, back for the fix. Uh, let me see what, we, what else we have. Is there any question? Have you got any update on QuarryCon, Mike? Well, the uh, schedule is going to be completed with the final speaker uh, as, soon as, as soon as we can this week. Um, we'd love to see you there if you don't have tickets already um, and you would like a discount, uh, just privately DM one of us and I'll hook you up. Um, and don't forget there's academic discounts as well. So if you know any students or any people that are you know academic related, we can, we can give them a discount as well. It's on the, on the website, so. Just come on over. Hope to see you there. OK, so we will post the notes after we clean them up a little. And please also make sure to remember to have a look at the milestone and provide some feedback. I'll post the link again in the Office Hours channel. Hey, this is Josh. Thanks. Uh, thanks for all your work on this. Um, looking forward to seeing you guys next week.
Excellent. Yeah, same. Yeah, the same. Thanks for joining us. I thought I thought someone should at least say something. <laughs> <laughs> Let you guys know that we are here. Yeah, I think that we probably could uh, post a uh, agenda for our meetings uh, in advance of the meetings as well, and that would incentivize people to uh, jump into the meetings. Yeah, and I think we just haven't had them consistently for so long now. People are just getting back into uh, remembering that there is such a thing as office hours. Yeah, it's everyone's opportunity to to uh, contribute and, and collaborate and things. Okay, well, is that it, Alessandro? Yeah. Okay, well, uh, Thanks, and we'll, uh, we'll post notes to the Slack channel uh, with uh, what we discussed. Sounds good. See you guys soon. Yeah, see you next week. See Bye, you. Thanks for joining. See Bye. you soon, guys. Bye.